friends should trust each other. Promise me. I promise. I'm there with Bradley Cooper, but mostly we look after corporate executives and we look after uh, foreign royal families, oligarchs, billionaires. So we've got to look at the threat towards them um, and the vulnerabilities in their life. We've got to look at the risk to them. And we've got to try and mitigate that risk as far down as we possibly can. So the threat examples we have, um, is it a perceived threat? Is it an actual threat? So are they on Putin's hit list? If they're on Putin's hit list, which happens, then we need to make sure that we're better than Putin's men. Is it a physical threat? Are they being stalked? Are they being blackmailed? So we have to look into their background. We have to find out why they're being uh, blackmailed. And quite often, it's something they have done. And um, that we then have to drill down to try and find the blackmailer so that we can then mitigate that risk. We also do hostage rescue. I personally have been involved in hostage rescue for about 30 years. And most of the hostages we rescue are women and children that have been kidnapped from Europe, from England, from uh, America, and taken to the Middle East to Pakistan, uh, Yemen, and a lot of it is to do with forced marriage. A lot of it is to do with interracial marriages, where the woman who maybe is English, she's met a really nice Pakistani guy at um, university, but she doesn't understand the culture. And the culture, when children are involved, is the children at a certain age become, they belong to the men. And that is all to do with religion, and quite often they will then kidnap the children or kidnap the woman and the children and take them to their homeland and keep them hostage. And so myself and my colleagues, we will go and find them and we'll bring them home. Um, because in my personal opinion, nobody's got a right to keep somebody where they don't want to be. So as team leader, I'm the main point of contact with the principal, the person who we're looking after. Um, I'm the one that's going to plan the operation. I'm the one that's going to allocate the resources. And I'm going to maintain the dynamic risk assessment every single minute, because things change. And principals, they may give you, um, they may say, this is what we're doing tomorrow, but actually, come tomorrow, it's something completely different. So I have to keep doing dynamic risk assessments. So the operations room's job is to maintain, uh, maintain up-to-date country risk reports. So if whatever country we're going to, I need to know what the political situation is in that country. Um, I need to know, has there been any terrorist events in that country or what is happening? And they will keep me all updated on all that. Um, trackers. One of the things we do to mitigate risk is we put trackers, trackers on our vehicles. If principals, we put trackers on our principals and we put trackers on their children. Because that way, should the worst ever occur that they're kidnapped, we then have a chance of finding where they are. But I'd like to point out it's not happened so far. We do corporate rescues. So I was involved when um, some three oil men were kidnapped. Uh, in the Middle East, and they were held hostage by Uday Hussein, who was Saddam Hussein's son. And they were held hostage because they were playing cards with him. They were there to do an oil deal, and they accused Uday of cheating. Not the most sensible thing to do. Um, so he then held them hostage, and they were there for several months. It took us quite a while to track down where they were being held. And I spent six weeks in a burqa, 
begging at the side of the road because that's what a lot of women have to do. And it meant that I could then watch where they were being held. I could watch the guards being changed over. So uh, we eventually realised that 11 o'clock at night, um, these ladies of the night would go in with bottles of scotch for the guards. And so we waited till 1 o'clock in the morning and then we raided the compound so we could get these, um, these guys out. 